We can talk later. Just get out of here. Just not later. Now. Just go. Talk to me. Okay. Uh, out. Eleanor, I'm sorry. Okay. You too, Eleanor. Is it really necessary to employ a nanny at this point? I'm 13 years of age. I'm interviewing girls tomorrow. I'll do it in the library. Make sure everyone takes off their shoes. Eleanor Logan. Well then. Basically, you get him to and from school and make sure he eats. That's it. Anything else you need, Isa will help you. Isa? Yes, Mom. Christ. I talked to the mother for like 10 minutes before she hires me to take care of her 12-year-old son. Next thing I know, I'm living there. I'm Eleanor. Reggie. Fine. Let's go to the park. Ride right, that stinking park every stinking day. Then let's go to a different stinking park. This isn't gonna happen. You get to go to camp. Never mind the canoeing, the obstacle courses, the campfires, the, the adolescent camaraderie. Adolescent camaraderie is good. You're an adolescent. No one cares. No one cares where I am. It's so weird, Reggie. Yes, well, this is my life. Welcome to the weirdness. I'm just trying to navigate a course towards safety and sanity best way I know how. Wow. I forgot how bad Bully is cooking is. You want to sneak out of here? Go get some Chinese. Do you know anything about Modigliani? No. I'll bet I'm about to. He died in penury and squalor in 1920 at the age of 35. What's penury? Extreme poverty. Mm. As you can tell, I'm alert, extroverted, affable, and articulate. Of course. I'm not to mention devilishly handsome. Not to mention. Is everything okay? My dad's in the hospital. I think I need to go home for a while. I've ended this relationship. Oh, so you're just gonna be like that? And you're too young to understand. I have a great deal of understanding. Oh, God. Well beyond my years. <laughs> <laughs>